Hashtag save workroom and save the room will not work. Poster explains that the goal of the Discord server and the message is to tell Rec Room that we the players are their most valuable assets. How are they going to achieve this? Well, in their first event, they're going to try to get as many people on as possible. This is not a good idea. First of all, we need to understand what Rec Room is. Rec Room is a corporation, meaning they need to make that money. Now, I agree that some items are severely overpriced. Like, what the fuck is this? But you need to understand, you're not being forced to buy these things. These are all cosmetics. But the biggest problem here is Rec Room's creative features and how they seem to get bugs every single update. Now, Rec Room's creation tools are its biggest source of income as players play, user-created games, and generate profits for Rec Room. Now, I know Rec Room is dying, but its player base is still huge. On Steam, it has over 1,000 to 2,000 players daily. And as Gribbly said in an old AMA, so this question is from David Hall Jr. 15, who asks, can we get some statistics of the game, like registered accounts, active accounts, average peak time, new users since PSVR, blah, 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 Steam charts give one part of the total. Yeah, okay, so I'm trying to think about what I can talk about. So, well, actually, so one thing is, so the Steam audience of the platforms we're on, um, Steam is actually the smallest group of players that we have. We, we have a healthy number of players on Steam, um, but our, our other platforms are actually a bit larger. So that's kind of an interesting thing that might be surprising to a lot of players. Now we'll never know how big the player base is because we only have access to Steam charts, but this means that Rec Room is in no way about to die. If you want Rec Room to change, there's really only three things you can do. You can review bomb, tell them what's wrong, stop purchases, that means canceling all your Rec Room Plus memberships, and just stop playing the game. This will make them lose money and be more willing to listen to us as a community. You can take Helldivers as an example. When Sony first wanted you to log in on a PSN account, even though many countries couldn't make PSN accounts, they still wanted to go through with this, even though players already bought the game and have played it for a long time. So what did the community do? They review bombed, they stopped purchases, and they stopped playing the game. This backlash led to Sony listening to the community and reverted the feature. And lastly, just don't harass anyone. The devs especially, they're just doing their jobs. Do you agree with my statements or do you think I'm just an idiot? Leave it down in the comments below. And obviously, don't forget to like and subscribe because I need that money, baby.